Joshua James, and welcome to Oregon Wrestling Observer. With me is my longtime good buddy Bob. Welcome back to Oregon Wrestling Observer. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes. <laughs> the last time I saw you was back in, uh, I think it was February. I BCW. Think. Yeah, BCW was the last time I officially saw you. Uh, reasons why I brought Bob here is because we're at the uh, Family Life Center's Children and Youth uh, Church. Youth Center. Youth Center, thank you. But this building used to be the old Portland Wrestling Sports Arena, which Bob has a history with. Oh yeah, got about, about three years of it, four years of it. Yeah, and, uh, and I'm here to have him on my show to tell his story about what it was like working with Don Owens in Portland Wrestling back in the day. What was it like working there, Bob? Working here, working here was, well, see, during the valley, during during the week I'd work with Don Elton throughout the state, going to different towns, tell him up Newport, setting up rings for him. But on weekends I'd come up here with, just to watch wrestling and hang out. So I was, here it's kind of like an extra up here. But, uh, you know, Buddy Rose, Shag Thomas, Luther Lindsay, Andre the Giant, Haystack Calhoun, they all came through here. And working here, these guys were the greatest. And you saw the inside. We got a little documentary. We, we Which will be coming it. soon on the channel. But it, it was the greatest thing to work with professionals like this. And then I went into music, mm -hmm. out the door. That we, what, what was your What was your job when you when you were uh, working for Portland Wrestling? What, what Portland Wrestling. Do? My job for Portland Wrestling well, was actually uh, Portland. I was the one that set up the rings, had a crew. We set it up, put the mat down, tied the buckles up. You know, from the ground up, we go into an empty building. We constructed and put up the chairs. They had people that usually come in and do the chairs, but we did all the rings and different chair it down at the end of the night, go to the next town, do it all over again. Oh, jeez. And, and plus security, and I was a timekeeper in Eugene. Oh, that's pretty cool. At the Eugene's Fort Torino. And, um, and uh, you saw a lot of great wrestlers uh, here coming to Portland Wrestling, but who was the one that you have the most fun like hanging out with? Like? <laughs> My buddy, the Iron Sheep. <laughs> If you don't know, like on Gary's YouTube channel, there is a video. You gotta of, tell Gary what Gary you're talking about. Gary uh, the Conqueror. Gary the Conqueror from the Howard Stern show. Yeah, and he has a YouTube channel, and there's a video clip of Sheik being Sheik. Yeah. And uh, and I don't know where he's just. We were chewing, in the airport. Yeah. Yeah, it was just. We were in the airport. Got off done doing a show in Seattle. We we're doing a comedy tour. We came in here, and he walked in, gave Gary a big hug, and all of a sudden, someone pulled up a TV camera, and he turns into. The chic. the chic. He went into chic mode. Yeah. Much. <laughs> and I'm over there trying to get tickets at the counter and I'm kind of snickling off. So oh, you stood up. Hey, Bobo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me a bad time, but we, you know, over but when the cameras were off, he's uh, just, he went back into normal mode. Uh, that's, apologized. <laughs> Signed all the graphs. You, you told me that he scared the, the cash. The oh, he scared the clerk all the death. She was super already crawling under the table. Call the police, probably. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. We had, I've had John Rambo here. I've had uh, Rick Flair, Luthez, Matt Bourne. Vern Gagne. Oh, Matt lives here. Yeah. Matt was, my, my, Matt was like my adopted brother. Matt and Tony Ray. Tony Bourne was my godfather. I, I adopted him when my dad died. So he kind of, when I got married, he was my best man. I always wondered if they came to the wedding to see Tony or me. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a good time. We had a good time. And the Bourne family is a special place in my heart for all of them. Matt's gone. Tony Ray's the only one left. So it was a lot of fun back in those days. A lot of hard knocks. A lot of, a lot of miles under my belt. And the people who... Thank you, those beautiful people. Thanks a lot. Thank you, guys. Really do appreciate it. We will. Yeah, God we bless will. you. And okay. What else you want to ask me, buddy? I want to know, like, uh, like, um, like the shows. Like, how many people was three thousand? Like? We could oh, shove in there. Jeez. And they didn't and look, have. Look at, the, look at this building. Does that does that look like a building that would fit three thousand people? Everybody walked from the neighborhood. Well, yeah. yeah three thousand just... people in there, and there was uh, no barricades around the ring. They all sat in a row. We had ringside Rosie. On I was just going to mention her. Ringside Rosie. She was the biggest pain in the butt. We love her to death, though. <laughs> I was just going to mention her because, like, it seems like uh, every time when I always came over, we watch a little clips of Portland Wrestling. Ringside Rosie. She was always, always right, right there. That's her seat. She had it reserved every year. That's we had awesome. a, Actually, that second generation of Ringside Rosie at BCW not too, back in February. Oh, yeah. I heard about that yeah. one. I missed that, by the way. But, um, yeah, then I don't know where, like, um, you left and went on the road because you yep. were doing music. I was doing sound for a rock and roll band, Three Dog Night, The Raiders, Power of Raiders, The Kingdom, and The Who. 
So yeah. you think this was like the beginning and then time to oh, move on to the next I chapter? No, I was, a, I was a little kid. This thing was 10 times bigger. You know, when I was a little kid, the wrestling was the biggest thing in the world. So I've been involved in now. It's wrestling all over the place. So it's, it's here. I love it. It's my place where I grew up. But it's not as big as it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> because you remember it being a big building. Well, it was a big, where everybody went. You yeah. Know, a big party place. Now I think you want it to empty. It's a church now, though. Yeah, yeah, it's a church now, so. And it, it, we got to go inside. It was really, really fun to do. Bob tr had a hard time trying to keep up with us. Uh, oh, we got one of those steps. I forgot they were as bad as they are. <laughs> but it was so much fun. Uh, that, Like I said, that'll be a video that'll be coming soon. But also, Bob, like uh, you got to work with Don Owens. Uh, what was Don? I worked like? with Don. Was Don was quiet. I worked more with Elton and the guys than I did with Don. Don was Don ran this. This is Don's show. I was just here to help out if they needed it. I was not really working with Don. I worked with Elton. Okay. Yeah, uh, we had a friend of ours just show up. Well, a friend of yours. Yeah. I've met. I think I've seen her once or twice. And it's, it's my friend Mary. You come on in, come Mary. Here? Come on. Hi. <laughs> She's here to visit it, to take a look at the new build at the Portland Wrestling Sports Arena and uh, she's coming by the visit wearing her Warriors dash. That's where the wrestling was back in the old days. Oh, cool. 3,000 people. I can see that. Children and youth ministries. Well, luckily enough, we got lucky that people <laughs> were running. We're here. We got to go through it. Yeah, we got oh, to go okay. inside, which was really cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. But Warrior uh, dash, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I did the Warrior dash. Bob, so you got you didn't really get to be around Don, right? So like, I was around Don, but only when when I was here. Okay. The Elton ran all the shows Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Don ran those shows. Elton, I mean, Elton, Don was only here on Saturday. Even though it, it was called Portland Wrestling, you guys really didn't stay in Portland that much. You went no. to Washington. And... March of the shows were on the road. Washington, uh, we went up to Washugo, we went up to uh, yeah, Ka yeah, Yakima did a match, you know, but it, it, it's all all over the place. And uh, Don would call me up, I mean, I would call me up, Bob, got a match, blah, blah, blah. And I look at how long it take to drive there, Miley's wife, get down and get the truck to take off. And uh, you also got to work with Andre. What was Andre, Andre the Giant. What was he like? Big son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Seven foot tall. Seven foot tall. I was 6'5 then, but he was still, and his wow. hands were twice as Twice the size of mine. Uh, my brother's all. One of my yeah. brothers. Andre the Giant was a great, one of the great. He's like a gentle giant. And a half, so, yeah. Gentle giant <laughs> who could drink like no one else can ever drink. Was it? Didn't he beat Hulk Hogan? He beat Hogan a couple of times way before WrestleMania three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, WrestleMania three, that's when Hogan beat him. Then uh, they had a rematch. Andre beat him this time, and they had another match. No one won. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Andre, like, I, I've always been told he was a young giant. He's always been one of my favorites. Oh, uh, mine's a Sheik when he beat uh, Hulk Hogan with the camel clutch. I don't think Sheik's ever beaten him, to be honest. He beat him with the camel clutch. Uh, maybe. Yeah. But um, uh, uh, I, I was questioning that, too. I know. Don't, don't let him. You didn't hear that, Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> I could just hear him screaming on the. Oh, he needs to be calling me up yelling at me. <laughs> Bobo! You <laughs> But uh, what was Andre like? Uh, Andre around? was a gentle giant. He was friendly to everybody. He walked out. He just wanted. He'd go into the ring, do his ring. He'd walk out, high five everybody. Aww. He signed a few <laughs> autographs, but then he just wanted to get out of there. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's a big guy. He's higher. He gets tired quick when you try and pick him up. I hated him because he broke three rings that I had to set up. Oh no. <laughs> well, 500. 550 pounds, yeah. Well, you got to figure Lonnie Mayne picking him up and Lonnie going down with him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good point. Good, good point, good point, good <laughs> point. And a thousand uh, pounds going down on the ring. What was um, working with the Piper like? Roddy Piper was the greatest. He'd go out of his way to go to little kids and say, hey, how you doing, you know? Oh. He'd sign it, sign it. The guy with a little napkin, he'd sign a napkin for him. He'd do anything. Roddy was just the greatest. I met uh, Roddy once. And you... You did you, If you met him once, he came across great, didn't he? Oh, I, nicest guy I've ever met. Him. <laughs> and the thing is, is, like when I met him, it was at the it was Portland Wrestling, not this one. It was the it was the 2005 one that where Dr. Luther I think was running. But this was at the uh, Volcano Stadium, baseball. Oh yeah, stadium? outdoor outdoor stadium. Yeah, and I got that was to Sandy Bar match, I think. Yeah, yes. and I got to meet him. And uh, even though he was like tired and all that, I asked him if I could get like an autograph and just see him. He's like, oh yeah, great. And yeah. He was like nicest guy I ever met. Like, the, not, like seriously. But there is another Piper out there. It's his son. <laughs> no, there's uh, another one besides his son. Oh yeah, Rhonda. Little Rhonda. Oh, her. Yeah. She's only about 
that tall. Really? She wow. beat Josh for the 24-7 belt. I let her win. Ah, you did not. She I beat. let her win. I let her win. I let her win because I felt sorry for her. Because if it was a real you match, I would have She I dresses up won. just like I Ronda won. Rousey. Because I would have won because even I felt sorry Kitty, for her, so I let her this, win. Get a hold of me. I let her win. I let her win. <laughs> Kitty, if you see this, get a hold of me so I can uh, have you cook up with Ronda for this little girl to get it <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, he stole the belt from her when she wasn't looking. It wasn't even fair. Hey, hey, she was eating her snacks. The opportunity was there, so I sold it. So I'm champion once again. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> so she ran down line for number one. We're trying to put a few claws together so this little girl can get it. And she dresses the kelp, the whole nine yards of kelp. She dresses up like Jack, Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Make it just like Ronda, but she's only five years old. Aww. She's the sweetest girl. That she's, uh, her and her sister, they're big time wrestling fans. Yeah. They're, they're just great. Uh, but uh, yeah, like uh, we got Phil in the building and we were just talking way before uh, we started filming. It brought back right. memories, right? Well, like these guys we see now. Uh, uh, Jason Sullivan. Jason Sullivan. Matt. Matt. Trigger. They weren't even born yet when that started. They were just babies. Yeah. Jason Sullivan was twinkling his daddy's eye. <laughs> Drexel, he Drexel, no, he wouldn't have been around either. No, I didn't see Drexel until Portland Wrestling in 2005. He was a DJ first. But that was Sandy Bar, though. Yeah, yeah, that was Sandy Bar. But uh, yeah, we brought him back so much memories. That, like uh, for me. Oh God, that freaked me. This parking lot was full within about 20 minutes. Well, I believe it. <laughs> and they had cars parked both directions. They had just in like this. They were put face to face it. against the curb. <laughs> they were parked all the way down the streets on both sides. And most of, like I said, most people walked because they lived. Yeah, it's not. It's a big parking lot, but it's not. I've like, got to find a flyer for yeah. Portland Street Green and see what the tickets went for back in the day. Oh, I would like to see that myself, <laughs> actually. But yeah, I also brought this. Yeah, uh, brought this back home, which is the big Northwest. It's not the champion. It's not belt. the one they had, but it's no. it's similar. And uh, brought it here just to say hi to an old building. Yeah. And, we uh, found a new champion there. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> and and, uh, uh, and uh, you got to work with so many wrestlers, and uh, yep. you, got, you got to work with so many great promoters. That's Savage, Luther Lindsay, Shag Thomas, the, count, the Kangaroo, Johnny and Norman. Little um, Beaver. Little Beaver. I love the midgets, they were so funny. Little midgets were around, they would sell out every place. Cause <laughs> little Beaver would wrestle, and they'd come out and they'd get on my shoulders, and I'd carry him to the dressing room. Cause, oh. And he was heavy, wasn't he? Well, he's it? heavier than hell. Oh. <laughs> Excuse my language. No, go ahead. Okay. But uh, Scott Olo, uh, like I said, we had Billy Jack Hayes. We had uh, Billy Jack was just getting out. Well, I think Billy, when I saw Billy going to California, that's when I saw Billy. Well, no, was, the, the last time the last we saw time Billy, we, did show. we, did we show. had him on my yeah. show. <laughs> but uh, the guys that are here, like Shag Thomas, Luther Lindsay, uh, John. Uh, Rick Martel, all of them were here. All of them were here. I can't remember all of them. So they were Dutch Savage. <laughs> yeah. What was the god darn German thing? Kurt and Carl von Steiger. Oh, oh yeah. That sounds German. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> they were really the German. German. <laughs> they, were like the, they were like the Bushwhackers marching <laughs> in the ring, you know. Oh, yeah. The, 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 uh, speaking of the Bushwhackers, they were in Portland Wrestling. Yeah, they were here. The Sheepherders. The Sheepherders. Yeah. I thought it was the dumbest name for a wrestling team. The Sheepherders. <laughs> But they were hardcore, like way yeah. before we yeah. even were hardcore was yeah. back then. Uh, but uh, like, there goes the train in the background. But um, yeah. but uh, it, it probably, it again. <laughs> probably felt good to be back oh, here. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can walk around it very slowly. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet it was like really hard to try to get into buildings too when there's like so many people here. Yeah. And. Um, uh, it, and it feels cool to be here for the first time. I've, I've only seen like pictures and videos, but even though it's not the, it's the same look it's of the same building, building same, same but same just day. different look, but it still really felt cool. Same color too, pretty much. Oh yeah? We all had up there with the part of the sports arena up there, I was nicely. Uh, they still have that behind the, that poster right there, or, or they got rid of it? No, it was on the front side of the thing. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but, um, uh, Anything else you want to say, Bob? Not right now. I'll give it to some more later. But my lady, you're killing me. <laughs> it's her fault. <laughs> you brought it right into the record. <laughs> I'll 
Okay, let's call it for now. We'll get back more later if I think about it. All right, sounds good to me. Broken bones from parts unknown Simplify wonders of why Broken promises